Yep. They're following them up. Banana shooting him in the back. It's going to be a headshot for Dan King to start off this best of three with. But Davy G is kind of watching behind. Death is going to be taking down Dan King. They did realize on the T side what was happening. Mopo's putting up, man. He's been really good. He's the player to watch, I think, for this particular team. Or at least one of them. Death's coming in with yet another kill. Making it a triple in the pistol round. And Mopo's will finish it off. So Tyloo, their opening gambit. Ooh, Dan King. That was a clean headshot. Death's kicking us off already. Not feeling any fear at all here. That's what you like to see. Some confidence. Mm. Mopo's picking up a couple of kills with the MAC-10. Attacker has got that MP9 inside of the bomb site, And they're kind of checking out the A bomb site. They don't actually have to go for this, but they're going to do that anyway. Third kill with the MAC-10. Why not? Slowly back here is going to be found. So that's a, that's pretty much a clean round coming out from over there. I mean, not a favorite here at the Major. But still, they managed to pick up a win against Renegade's first round here in the group. Losing the next two series to Virtus Pro and Entropic, but there's no shame in that. Virtus Pro and Entropic. I mean, Entropic just took Heroic down in a, in a best of three, so that's uh, they're no joke. Yeah, we got some dangerous teams here that maybe weren't on everyone's radar. We saw Movistar play in the Blast Showdown as well, and they were actually really impressive there. So not too surprising, but um, given the caliber of teams here at the early stage of the major, it's, it's a four on four. With yeah. The Bomb plant incoming. Maybe they could boost to try and stop it, but I think they're going to be just a little bit too late, unfortunately. They need to do that five seconds ago. The headshot ringing in through the AK-47, and it's a three-on-three three now. Setting it up slowly. Flash through. Oh, but he spins around while flashed and still takes him down. Triple kill for Davy G. It's going to be Sun Payas taking down Summer, and Dan King just retire that AWP. It's not worth even getting close to this battle. Man, if you're going to be doing the 4-1 setup, which is a super common thing on the front. Oh, not quite, right? You just run, run away from it. Attacker down in the pit. This is going to be the first A execute that we're seeing out of Movistar in a 4 on 5. Dan King is there. Good shot with the AWB. That slows it right down. Attacker in the pit gets a kill, but it's really the AWP shot. You can see how the rest of the push behind that kill just slows down. Attacker doing a fine job with a quad at the end of it. What would have to happen here for this to work out? They should never have a chance of winning this one. Dan King misses the flick initially, but somebody's there with the other AWP. Oh, but they get him anyway. A shot through the side from Mopos, and now are they going to read that there's one more in there? One kill here on the right player for Slowly, and he wins the round to time alone. Seven seconds on the clock. He's hiding behind here in the smoke, just walking out. Now it's the right spray. He gets the lineup. Oh, what a triple. Takes care of every... Look and see like how Tyloo want to play on this map, and they get to take advantage of it a little bit. Molotov there to maybe segment the push in the middle. Death has gone down. Caught with a nade in hand, and the attacker is really on point in this pit. That is such a luxury when you have a pit player who just knows what they're doing. It actually could eliminate part of the map for the enemy team to even really try and attack, and he's doing such a fine job here. Alex sneaking through, but somebody's going to be there to catch him, and this is a nice turn of events here. Tyloo started to really pick it up. Sunpeas is going to be going down. No, before it might be too late here. Trying to set it up slowly, revealing himself back here with the AK. Backup is slowly coming now, actually. They're a little bit um, not quite fast enough here, Movistar. Navi G with a good kill, but they're bleeding players quite swiftly. And slowly, is st he's still alive back here. No scope by Navi G. Flick not connecting this time around. It is a one versus two, but he's only got 20. They tend to fall quite far back into the bomb sites. And that could be an issue. <laughs> Is attacker gonna swing? Is attacker gonna swing? Yes, he is! Oh, doesn't get the double though! Alex with the save! Yeah, that's important. Dan King trying his best not to be flashed as they turn the corner. They go for a little bit of a wall bang, which you can do. He misses the shot, but Summer is still there with the lineup, and that's a good double spray down. Tyloo finding seconds on the clock, and attacker down on the bike in pit. He's gonna get a kill even if he's flashed. That's pretty good. Gotta be careful here with the bullets. Six of them left before he has to reload, and he can't get the kill on Alex. But the Deagle will do the job. Dan King, great double on him. That is actually really important. And now Death's on his own. There's not a lot of time. So little time, in fact, that they should be able to just play this one out slowly. Summer is there. He's gonna be going down. What a great double. He's down to 19, but trying for it. Faking it, in fact. He doesn't have bullets for this kind of thing. He's gonna run out. And somebody will take him down. I think he might have lost track of how many bullets he had left. Yeah. If you're Alex, you're thinking, where are they? Why are they not in the B-bomb side at all? But in fact, they are. They're just hiding for the minute. Flick, not quite connected. I, he doesn't know that someone's back here. 
And King will go down anyway. Man, he had a lot of choices there, or a lot of chances. Alex, what a round out of him. Triple kill. He should have been shot at the back. I'm almost just hiding behind the pillar. That's huge. First attempt missed, and I think now he's not going to have that many choices left either. He tries to find it. He's going to get that one. Runs him down with the pistol, but Alex will take care of business. A great quad kill. So there's that... Uh there's that uh, large, uh, that library smoke that you yeah. were talking about earlier, Anders. Dualies are right here. Oh, and he gets some help from deaths behind him. Only the one kill with the dualies, but still, that's going to put a real slowdown to everything. The bomb is committed to the platform, so they're just going to have to go for it. Down to the graveyard. Death is going to be going down. Some pairs will drop next. Somebody with two great kills on the Glock. And after all of that, it's a good... Uh, Maybe get some action in here. Down to the pit and inside of the bomb site. That's a mean crossfire. Really hard to get rid of. Especially if you only have pistols and not much else. But Alex is doing a fine job to start with. Somebody trying to save this round. He's already got the triple. Can he get the quad? No. Mopas will take him down. And he has enough time for the defuse as well. That kit making all. A little setup here. AK on the other side. Ready to try and challenge it against the M4 and the FAMAS. AK is going to have to do a fair bit here. And it will. Summer with the opening kill on the Galil. But attacker will follow it up. Death is going to get run down. He was busy throwing a smoke, which I wonder, is that some sort of wicked one way where he can jump up on the box and look right over it? It looked like he was really careful to set that up. Unfortunately, time to make up your minds here, Tyloo, and not waste too much. The only problem could be damage with the C set 75. He's inside of the smoke. That is an interesting position. Death's getting a kill. Oh, man, 20 seconds on the clock. They need to get through here. They can't really wait forever. Otherwise, they could run out of time. I know they're right next to the bomb site. Dan King is low on health, and he's the one with the bomb. I'm getting really nervous. Here's Death. Oh, they line up for a big double. He's finally going to be going down, but that's only five seconds. If there had been anyone else there on the bomb site, and even if Dami G had just waited maybe a bit longer or got a kill, it could have made a huge difference. That is absolutely mental. He's just got a triple kill on the round, Death's. Mopaz is walking up behind. Is he going to be able to spot anyone here? I think he's going to be exposed to the pit if he keeps going. And that is a bit of an issue. Yeah, this crossfire is good. Although he will get the headshot anyway. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Scout versus AK and attacker knows. Banana control. And now we got a little bit of presence in mid. Oh, my God. That actually could have been so dangerous. They nearly lined up. I know it's a scout, but still. Don't want to be taking too much damage. Slowly, though, he will survive. Summer will get the kill. Going back from B and back into the A bomb site. Again, a little bit of a stack going on here, but it's just the pistols. They shouldn't be able to do that much damage with them. Death is down and now 18 seconds on the clock is a little bit outrageous. Damage you with a kill, but again, they just get they get eventually murdered inside of the A bomb site. It's all fine. Yeah. Cutting it a bit closer. I think one of those earlier force buys. This is why I was sort of questioning a little bit. I know they couldn't have bought that immediately afterwards anyway, but it, yeah, you need all those guns down the road. Death is going to be out. Summer with a great opening kill. Up in the apartments, I believe, just catching him. Some teams you can see are very, very good at just following through in the, in the moment. Oh, Alex. No, he doesn't survive. Oh, both of them. Going to be beat by the timing here. Sun Pierce, smoke is up. And again, you can't really find anyone through that. Nice headshot. Could we get another one? No, they're going to be right on him. Summer with that kill. Alex, though. Returning it, and this is a bit awkward. Flashbang being set up here, but they're slowly bleeding them out. They got 40 seconds, and yeah. Tyler, they, they, they've proven time and again. They are happy to just wait. That's the difference maker here. Not feeling like they need to rush things at all. They've given themselves plenty of time to sit and wait on the bomb site. That's very well done on the side of time. Seven seconds. A little bit nerve wracking here. Alex playing it close to the middle again. That timer is really freaking me out right now. MP1, uh, MP4 in play. He's going to get, oh my god, a double kill. Alex with the triple. And it's Damage G to pick it up. They've left so little time here. And Alex is absolutely wrecking them slowly. The one versus four now. And he's just dancing on the other side of the pillar. The timer's run out. He cannot win the round any longer. Alex comes in for his just reward. A quad kill at the end. A wrap. Those two smokes and the flashes. They're pushing them back. They might think this is wrapping A, and they're going to be rotating right away. But there's a counter flash coming out. Oh, what a play coming out for Movistar. That is so genius. They catch them running up. Alex with another triple kill. And the follow-up Molotov absolutely shuts it down. This was a knockout punch and absolutely checkmated them in this round.
Oh, that timing is heartbreaking for Tyloo. I really feel for him at this point. Somebody with half health in a 1v3, 15 seconds on the clock, but the timing of that flash grenade caught Tyloo perfectly. And Movie Star Riders now, oh, they're going to get another round. The fact that there's no smoke there means he's able to pick up the kill, and that is a nice shot. Oh, that's close. He's got Alex to help him out. The bomb is now lost in the middle of nowhere. So this is a done round already. Even if they get a kill here, it just doesn't matter. Look at the tie of the scoreline, make it 12 12. Impressive stuff from uh, from Sun Payas with that AWP. And this should be a round of eco coming. If he just gets a kill and falls back, I mean, the crossfire between the two of them should be enough. It takes a minute, but he's able to spray one of them down and deaths will follow it up. So, yeah, this setup is looking pretty crisp right now. Chance for a reload. And he's got his teammate with the AK covering him. There was a single player in this round. Now, trying to flash their way in. It's a good idea, but Alex, sometimes if you don't get that immediate kill, just, you know, pressing along could be very dangerous. They've come up it from in. the boost as well. No pass. Here via the coffins. Doesn't hear anyone, or maybe he does, but he doesn't try to take the shot at any rate. Oh, out in the open. That's dangerous. He almost had it, but the AK will cancel out the round. They're going to be catch they're gonna be uh, falling back right away. If, if this is a five-man hit towards the A-bomb site, yeah, they can reinforce it quickly from Banana, but it's still going to be scary. Here we go. Roll pass takes one big double. That's probably the round right then and there. Oh. Like I said, they're never checking Alex. You, you're never going to be doing that. He's waiting for it. He's checking for a third member, not finding anyone just yet. He's got his back turned to them. He's just so confident. Alex... What an absolutely bold play, and now he's setting it to spray them down. What a victory! What an assassination! Somebody, one versus three. That is so cool. Uh, can we call that the play of the major so far? Man, that was been, so sick. There's been some really, really cool ones. That's, may, maybe it's too much, but I just... I've got to say, the way that he turned his back and walked up, he, that takes some, some strength. Some mental strength. Oh! <laughs> You're on A for Movie Star. 20 seconds though, 18 seconds. They need to move Tyler. They're gonna run out of time just alone. Taking a little bit of time to find that one. Death is still in the pit and he sprays them through the smoke. He must have seen the feet. Attacker and Summer are both down. Seven seconds on the clock and somebody. He can't win the round. It's Death with a quad kill instead. It's Movie Star at 15. There's a little bit of water there. Oh, it doesn't. It fails. He's setting it up. This is the b flash. Davy G, not that flashed at all. Somebody still takes him down slowly with the other kill. kill. It's looking good so far. They're going to be smoking off that library position. And Tyloo, they might have found a way. I'm not even sure if the flashbang hit that much, but it was enough apparently. And they're able to follow through. Oh, man, if that Molotov had landed down and forced him back, I, who knows what would have happened. Summer is going to be out of the round, but it's going to be going to Tyloo anyway. 14 to 15 here. Natural. Dude, they can't respect that smoke. They have to go through. They can't wait it out. It's about setting up the flashbangs. They're gonna have to walk through it. One boost on the other side. Mopas runs into the slowly saw him, so they have to stop for it, but Alex goes down. He wanted to get into the line here. Can they stop the plant though? Death's already boosted up. He catches one. They're off the plant. Oh no! Death's with a big double. And that bomb is lost. Eight seconds on the clock. They're running out and Inferno. Oh, they're getting the kills anyway. Four seconds now. No one is planting. It is done. Davy G will end up winning the round 16 to 14 here simply by staying alive inside a construction. What an absolutely chaotic end to this map. It's outright crazy that they managed to pull that off. Movie Star Riders, they just got gifted.